questions about is what exactly is a sumo robot competition? So those that are if you're, if you're familiar with sumo wrestling, what is the goal? Sumo wrestlers, okay, you hear. He said to push your opponent out of the ring. He has another comment. Or off their feet. Or off their feet. And, and, and the Nagalus here in the uh, sumo bot competition, robots don't have feet. Some robots have feet, but our robots mostly have wheels. So if the robot is turned over, disabled, then that's the same thing. And that's actually kind of the, that's the more cool way to disable your uh, opponent, right? Disable them. But pushing them off the robot, to, off the, uh, the arena, is, is certainly a way to win. Now in our robot competition, you can even win without pushing your robot off the, comp off the, off the uh, arena. If it just drives itself off the arena, then guess what? Then the other one wins. So that, that's the basic idea. Now our robots up here, and we'll introduce all of our robots here in just a minute. Our robot, the, the competition is based on a, a four foot diameter arena. And you'll notice that the arena has white in the middle and black around the outside. Now I've also been in a competition where it was black in the middle and white on the outside. Robots, and I'm not here to do a huge robotics lesson because we want to get right onto the competition. But these robots have sensors, and one sensor senses black and white. And so when the robot senses the black, he better decide to back up and get away from the edge, or he'll just keep driving right off the edge, and that'll be the end of that. So that's what the, that's what the black and white is all about. Anyway, I don't want to get too detailed about how to build robots, because this is not a robot building workshop. We did that with the AFOLs a couple of days ago, and we've got some pretty cool robots that have come out of that. So anyway, that's so, so just to kind of give a, 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 how the, some of the rules of the competition. Number one, the robot has to be no bigger than 12 inches by 12 inches, which all of our robots meet that requirement, and they can't weigh more than two pounds. I haven't weighed any of them, but none of them weigh more than actually it's one kilogram, which isn't exactly the same as two pounds. But the other is that when we start the competition, and you'll see this in just a minute, each each bout in the round, we will put the robots on the on the table, one facing one way, one facing the other, and uh, the robots will be started. They have to wait five seconds. Then after that, they operate by themselves. It's called an autonomous robot. It means it runs all by itself, no remote control. It's against the rules. And then they, you know, they try to push each other out of the uh, out of the arena. They have another sensor on them. Not all the robots are using the sensor, by the way, but they have another sensor that basically looks to see if there's a robot in front of them or near them because the goal is to go towards wherever that other robot is and push them out of the ring. So it's kind of like the robot eyes, but in actuality it's using echolocation. It's a, called an ultrasonic sensor. Okay, I'm getting off into the technical details again. Um, but that's the basic idea. And once the bout starts, they have 60 seconds to either to, to win to win or lose the uh, the uh, the round. If if they're not if they don't win the uh, the round within 60 seconds, then it's a draw. And so we're gonna we'll proceed with that. So anyway, without any further ado, let's get started. Let's we're gonna introduce our robots. We have six contestants today. Rich said, hey, sumo bots, and I said, hey, I've never done that. Cool. Let's learn. Hello. She's done amazingly well. And so the robot is roller because it rolls around on the, on the table. Number two is Bulldozer by Jim Cordero. No comment. Okay. Number three, and these are this up here, one, two, three, four, five, six. Number three is blue by Lily. There's Lily. Um, mine is made out of the Lego spike, and one of my inspirations was I wanted the thing to push other robots off to be two wheels. So. Okay, thanks, Lily. And number four 
is squeaky. And this is actually a collaboration. We do a lot of this in our Lego uh, building. And it's by Lydia and James. Yeah. So I built it and my son James programmed it for me because I'm not the best programmer and he's really good. <laughs> and just a, an FYI, James is an up and coming tea fool, teen fan of Lego. Number five is called Wanderer. I built that at Brickworld several months ago. It's actually not complete. It doesn't actually, I call it Wanderer because it actually does not look for other robots. It just wanders around and we'll see how well it does. <laughs> and number six is actually, it's called, I call it REM, because it's a robot educator model and I made one little enhancement to it. We'll see how it does, because I haven't tested it extensively. You'll notice it has a, uh, a, a plate in the front. The idea is, and there's lots of different strategies, and we're not gonna get into all that, but to try to get under your opponent. So that's what that one is. I call it REM Slide Under. My name is Rich, by the way. So without any further ado, we're gonna have Roller go against Bulldozer. <laughs>
sword and a Bulldozer is the crowd 